After the First World War, unique concepts to deal with the no man's land issue came and went. One of the more unique ideas was the rolling or ball tank. The Germans were the first to try a working prototype with the Trefferswagen built in 1917. In Kubinka Tank Museum in Russia, the Kugelpanzer or ball tank is visually similar to its Trefferswagen predecessor. It is the only known built example of one of these ball tanks still in existence. Over the years, there's been much conjecture about what the Kugelpanzer was designed for. Most commonly, researchers believe that it was meant to be a cable layer, artillery spotter, or some kind of scout vehicle. However, no one even knows if it's an early or late war design. It's definitely not an offensive armoured fighting vehicle, as the armour is only 5mm at its thickest. The only armament it would have carried may have been an MG-34, which would be mounted a few inches below the vision slit. The tank consists of a centre cylindrical compartment with a single direct vision slit at the head height and a large exit hatch at the rear. The vehicle moved via two rotating hemispheres that makes up the sides of the vehicle. These hemispheres were powered by a single-cylinder two-stroke engine. It's believed that it used the smaller wheel on the rear of the tank to steer and keep stable. So little is still known about the Kugelpanzer, as the research and paperwork held by the Russian government has not been shared with anyone. The most commonly believed theory is that at some point in the 1940s, Germany sent it to Japan as part of their technology sharing scheme. It was eventually captured in 1945 in Manchuria by the Russians. It could still be years until the Western world finds out its true use, but it's just another example of German thinking during World War II. As always guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button for more videos.